Can you do me a favor and can you keep an eye on this ball? I'm not sure where it's going to go. But I do know one thing. This ball is headed to the country of France because we're going to be looking at its 600 golf courses, over 600 golf courses it has. And we'll be ranking the top 10. So let's zoom in to number 10 on our list. A beautiful 18 hole golf course here. Forest course here, there's also the C course. Now the forest course stretches 5,915 meters, has a slope of 127, is a par 72, which is a public resort style course that was built in 1904. So a lot of history at this golf course here. For us, number nine on this list also has two golf courses as well. Now there's a lot of great golf here in France and it was hard getting down the metrics and figure out this top 10. So number nine definitely had to make it on this list. And we went with the course that was more notable. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a par 72. It's a woodland style course here. It's a 6,616 meters and it's a resort style course that was built in 2004. It's open year round. La Chantilly's golf course is open to the public. You don't need to try to stay at that beautiful resort to play there. If you're in the southern part of France and you're looking to play some golf, this is going to be the public golf course of your choosing. Now, we still have a ton of golf to look at here. So let's slowly move into the top eight golf courses now in the country of France and just over 600 golf courses, it was hard. But some of these are very notable and they're gonna be pretty much gems. So let's zoom in to number eight on our list here. Oh man, there's a lot to like about this link style course here. It's another open to the public course that stretches 6,019 meters long with a slippery slope of 139 and a ranking of 73.2 course was built in 1992 by Hall Tree Incorporated and it's open year round and it's typically the busy season is from April to October. Now this is a great course and it looks like it's pretty reasonable just a few uh, 45 euros. Look at that right on the water there. So that is going to move us into number seven on our list and I'm going to tell you right now these courses just get better and better. So let's zoom in to number seven here. Now what we're looking at is a par 73 here. It's pretty long, it stretches 6,234 meters. It is another public resort style course, 18 holes of magnificent golf here. Look at this, a lot of water. Uh, it was built in 1989. It was built by a team of architects that are well known. The golf course is rooted in two clockwise loops of nine holes each finishing both at the clubhouse. Interesting. All right, just like that, we're slowly moving into the top five, but just before we do, we gotta hit number six on our list. And number six is another gem course here. You probably are pointing it out right now. So let's zoom in to number six here, a well-known golf course. So it's another very historical golf course here that was built in 1909. It's a private course and it's a par 72. This golf club stretches 6,153 meters from its back tee. It's got over 100 years of excellence. And another private golf course here. This golf course is a gem. Typically, it's a little bit higher on people's list. We've got some great aerial view of this golf course. And as we move in, you might think that it might get higher. We'll see. But we have to crack into the top five now. Just like that, we're zooming out because we have five incredible golf courses to look at. Most of them do have multiple golf courses on it. So this is, you know, a lot of golf here. So let's zoom in to number five on this list. Big example of one, we got the new course and the old course. We're going to give it to the old course. It's got more history. That's a big port thing. 19... 87 was the course, it wasn't that old, and it stretches 6,409 meters and has a slope of 133, a strong ranking of 78.8. It's a par set, uh, 72, and there's a lot to like about this golf course. It had multiple name changes, but for the most part, this 
private resort style course is number five. So we're looking at number four now. So let's zoom out and go right into number four. And there is a lot to like about number four on this list. This golf course is an absolute gem of a course. So let's zoom in to number four now. And there's a lot to like here, of course. It's a link style course. It's a resort style course, and it stretches a long 6,576 meters for a par 72. The course was built in 1989. A lot of courses were built in 1989. This one was uh, built by Bill Kaur, um, and then Rob Whitman. So that team built this one. So that's a nice golf course there. Now we're into the top three. So, just like that, let's zoom in to number three on this list. This one is probably a little bit higher on our list, but the aerial views don't really give it that that that, that push to, to number two and th two and one. So it falls into number three here. Arguable that maybe this course shouldn't be number three, but it was. It's a public course, and it's a par 71. Stretches 5,919 meters. It's a slope of 129, and the course was built in 1934. So between the history and the rankings online of this golf course, we pushed it over to number three. But there's two more golf courses to look at here. So let's zoom out of France, because these two golf courses are right next to each other. So if you ever had the opportunity to play them, you might be able to play both. So let's zoom in to that number two golf course here. However, it is a private golf course. So it's a little bit tougher to play. It has a slope of 135, a ranking of 71.9, and is 5,995 meters. Multiple golf courses here too. So we gave it to the grand one. And it's, uh, you know, it's built, it looks like this one was built by Kyle Phillips. I had some updates by Kyle Phillips in 2018, but it goes back to 1927. So we got some great aerial footage of this golf course. It was built by Tom Simpson um, in 1927. So that's that. That's it. That's our number two golf course. And some of us do know what number one's going to be because it is right next door. But this was a this was an interesting choice here. So we went with this as number two because the next one is going to be our number one golf course. So let's zoom out just to make the expectations a little bit bigger because this is a massive country with a lot of golf courses. And just so happens those two great golf courses are right next to each other. And there it is, our number one golf course. The course was built in 1991 and is a par 72 that stretches 6,181 meters with a ranking of 130. The course has hosted European amateurs, European amateur teams, the St. Andrews Trophy, and other numerous championships between its history its location and just being an absolute gem golf course this is opinionated so we probably got this list wrong it's a lot of good golf here and we're probably missing multiple golf courses so comment below we typically go with some of the ones that are most notable we try to go out of our comfort zone that's going to do Heads it for up. this video make sure you subscribe below if you made it this far it's the world twilight golfer